Breast Cancer Awareness Month starts in just a few days in October, but we're getting a jump start by talking about the latest in screening and testing options with Overlake Medical Center. Dr. Eileen Consorti is joining me now. Thank you for being here. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Uh, absolutely. This is a very important topic to discuss, and I love that we're getting a jump on it because I always wonder, what is the official time? When should women be screening? So that's an interesting question. Uh, we recommend that women start getting their screening mammograms at the age of 40. Mm -hmm. And then at the age of 55, they can have a conversation with their primary care to determine if they need to continue with annual screening mammograms or okay. if they can jump to every two years. Ooh, okay. Yeah. So you should not do that until you are in the 50s. Yes, 50, okay. age 55, and I would definitely cushion that around a good conversation with the primary care, your primary care provider. All right, that's good information to know. <laughs> Do you recommend genetic testing? So I recommend genetic testing for any woman with a new diagnosis of breast cancer. Okay. And also they should, every woman should have a conversation with their primary care providers about their risk factors, okay. uh, including a family history of all types of cancer, not just breast cancer, but all types of cancer to determine if they would be a candidate for getting genetically tested. So, okay, you mentioned that you think they should get tested after a new diagnosis. How does that help? Um, so if a woman tests positive for a genetic mutation, it may alter what kind of surgical choice she wants for her body okay. in terms of uh, treatment for her breast cancer. So say she has the BRCA gene, which is mm -hmm. the gene we know to contribute to ca breast cancer, if I'm saying that scientifically correctly. Yes. That could alter maybe full mastectomy or, or, or making a more aggressive treatment? Correct. Correct. It's, it's really fascinating. Uh, you have a new clinic, though, that recently opened. Tell us what, what's happening there. Right. We're really excited. Overlake uh, was very supportive in helping us start the multidisciplinary breast cancer clinic. Mm -hmm. And it really helps these women with new diagnoses on their oh, journey yeah. for breast cancer treatment. Mm -hmm. uh, we're a team at Overlake, and the team's comprised of a breast radiologist, a breast pathologist, medical and radiation oncologist, and surgical oncologist and we all get together. We, in one morning, we review uh, each woman's imaging studies, her pathology report, and come and, and then the woman goes ahead and with consultations with all the specialties. She fills out one medical intake form so mm -hmm. she doesn't have a bunch of forms. Her appointments aren't skewed over two to three weeks. They're in one morning. Mm -hmm. She brings in a loved one or friend to be her eyes and ears during the consultation. And then at the end of the morning, um, she comes up with a cohesive treatment plan that allows her to know what her schedule is going to look like in the next few months for treatment of her breast cancer. Wow. We have a nurse navigator who mm -hmm. helps her at every step of the way and helps get that plan together. And the nurse navigators are really key and have done such a great job at over like uh, with helping these women find their path. And we also have social workers to help uh, with uh, women's supportive and emotional needs. That is amazing. Yeah, I mean, it's really, really comprehensive. Super nice, nice, nice program to offer these women. This is amazing. Yes. You know, when you sat down here, you, you were very insistent that we keep this conversation positive and upbeat because you said women are really having good results from their treatment, yourself included. That's right. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I was diagnosed in 2013. And um, it's my passion to help women through this journey and really uh, do well in the long run and return them to how they were before their diagnosis, cancer-free. Well, your, your passion is palpable. I can see it. How can people maybe uh, learn more about what their journey would look like? Um, well, on the Overlake website, we have links to the multidisciplinary breast cancer uh, clinic. Mm -hmm. um, if they do uh, have a new diagnosis, they can get in touch with our nurse navigators who will help guide them through mm -hmm. their appointments and schedule them for this clinic. And even if, let's say, they started treatment somewhere else or they started the path somewhere else, but they, they're hearing this now and they say, 
I think this is where I need to be. It's okay, they can just kind of come on over? Absolutely. Um, if they started somewhere else and they're not sure, sure, they can give us a call and we can get them into our clinic. Thank you so much, Dr. Consorti. It you're has been welcome. a pleasure talking to you and congratulations on your, on your fight and, and thank you for sharing your passion on this. Yeah, thank you for the interview, lovely. Absolutely. Well, to learn more about what we discussed today and to get in touch with Overlake Medical Center, just visit the website right on your screen. Well, I recently took a big road trip over the weekend, all by my lonesome. I was a little bit nervous, some anxiety, and I have some thoughts on the value, though, of a solo adventure when we come back. This portion of New Day Northwest is sponsored by Overlake Medical Center.